Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, whoa. Get ready to watch a Happy Scrapper video. Happy Scrapper, yeah, yeah, here we go. I had made a video a couple years ago about parting out and scrapping a flat screen TV for $200, a profit of $200. Fairly controversial video as far as my videos go. Uh, a lot of people were saying there's no way you can do that. There's no way you can do those, sell those parts for that. Uh, so I want to do an update video on parting out and scrapping flat screen TVs. Now today's TVs, only been a couple years since they they've changed out, but or parts or how they're built yeah it's, it's fairly impossible to make two hundred dollars now uh, maybe on some of these 60 inch tvs and stuff with the uh, led strips uh, you could come close to that but and i'll show you why this is some of the older parts that come out of a samsung and, and you may see that in like a 40 inch tv there may be three or four different boards in there that you can sell. Now this little TV here is, uh, I think it's an Element. It was uh, probably about an 18 inch television. And it has a board, two speakers, the, uh, I can't even remember what this is called, for the sound and, and uh, the intelligence board. And then three, LEDs on a strip and that's all there is to that television to make it work and these boards you're going to get uh, anywhere from depends on you know the need 25 to, to 50 dollars a board the speaker is about eight bucks a pair uh, and this board here really just depends on the need at the time I've seen a wide variety of prices on uh, eBay and some of the Facebook uh, groups that for people that do television repair but you can group these together and sell them to people that do uh gold refining so this little television here would only bring about like i said may maybe at the most 60 bucks when you're trying to to part it out but if you didn't give anything for it that's 60 bucks it's all profit and that's where i'll get to on my next topic here if you'll see all these televisions there's a stack there they're well they're just pretty well everywhere in my in my building uh, and these were all free and the only damage to them is some type of damage with the screen now, i have found one so far that there's no damage to whatsoever uh, that must have slipped into the pile somehow uh, but I've got them everywhere in here. And this is another result of our, or my, advertising. A company that does uh, returns for several different companies seen one of our flyers and contacted us and said, this is all the televisions and stuff that we have that we can't do anything with. You can have them. Just come get them. At first, I hesitated on doing it because I thought, you know, there's not a lot of weight to these things. How am I going to make any money off of, you know, getting a bigger truck and going and picking these things up? So we're going to do this together. We're going to start looking through these and breaking them down and see just exactly what can be done uh, to, to make a profit off of these things. And I'm also going to make a video and post it here in the next day or so, maybe even today, uh, about flyers. Uh, I mentioned it on a couple of my different videos about advertising and how to get, make contact with different companies uh, to get stuff. Now, just like the pallet guy, uh, I forget exactly what the name of his uh, YouTube channel is, and, and some of the other guys that, that make videos that go out and, and pick up out of the trash, I don't have that option. There's about 40,000 people in my county all together. Uh, so I, my trash pickup day is on Thursday morning. So I go out on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and, and if I've got a half a trailer load, I'm absolutely tickled to death. So uh, with scrap prices dropping down, it's something like this that's going to keep us afloat. So let's break one of these things down and start looking at some prices across the board. 
Okay, I've taken uh, one of each size apart. And the way I'm doing this, I've got it on my work table. And there's no sense in boring you by showing you all the, the screws that's in the back of this. They're all Phillips head. Just take all those screws out and that back plastic panel pops off. And what I've been doing is I've got some padded envelopes that I'm not using. I go on the back of the TV, the information panel there, and I write down the maker and the model. And then what I go in the back of the TV, after I've got the panel taken off, take all the screws out, and then I'm left with the components that I want to sell out of that television. So I have the two boards there. Uh, the speaker system. I'll be taking these two boards here, and before the video's over, I'll find out a technical term for what these things are called. Those uh, boards there. Now, some most of the televisions I've taken apart so far, I have not been able to efficiently harvest the LED strips or boards that are on the back side of this, this metal. Uh, the ones I've taken apart so far have been hot glued in there, or, well, I, yeah, hot glued in there, and they wind up damaging the LED strips trying to take them out, or damaged them past where I would feel comfortable uh, selling those. Like I say, all these televisions have been uh, returned for broken screens. A few of them have been uh, returned because they didn't have the correct box. And then there's a couple of them that's been returned uh, because of a scam. Uh, this RCA here, I was really happy about it. Uh, it was 4K. Uh, you know, I was going to use it in the, in the shop here. It was taped up, uh, ready to go. It's 43 inch. It's going to you know, put it above the fridge up there so we could watch some uh, baseball uh, while we're out here working. But once I opened it up and moved the uh, styrofoam in there, whoever bought this had taken their old 900-pound uh, flat-screen TV and put it in the box, taped it back up, and took it to, to wherever they bought it from, got their money back, so they wound up with a free television. But most of the parts, like I say, I, I put in these label in labeled envelopes, and I just started storing them and just putting them there for this this video, so we can check out some of these model numbers and uh, see what possibility could be made out of these. So, like I say, I've got three examples pulled from a small television, one of these medium size 50 inches. Uh, and some of the bigger ones up to, I think the biggest one I took is a 70 inch. So we'll go to the computer and look at some of these prices on eBay. And the key to looking at the prices on eBay is not what people's got them listed for, but go under the sold and see what they actually sold for to give you an accurate uh, idea about what you can make. So let's go do that now. Okay, the first one we wrote down here and took out of our TV, it came from a Vizio. D55-F2. Now this is a 55 inch screen smart TV. And we looked this up on uh, eBay. And here's one that sold for $55 plus $10 shipping. That seems to be an exception. Uh, well, there's another one. Uh, but if you'll scroll down, the, the vast majority of these are, are been selling for right around $40. Uh, $33.99 plus $5 shipping. There's another $39.88 with free shipping. So that board's going to be, uh, just say $30 to be on, on average. And that particular uh, TV does have a power board in it too. And we looked those up and they're... They're selling for about half that price, about $15. So uh, the Vizio 55 inch uh, would bring you profit after shipping and everything. You're probably looking at about $45 in, in parts. So uh, 
Let's look up the uh, the Sanyo now. Sanyo model FW32D08F. Now this one uh, is about ten dollars more. Uh, they're a uh, right around forty five to or well, there's one down here for forty nine, but uh, that's free shipping. So you're looking around forty dollars for those. And that particular model does not have a power board in it. And we also uh, got took some speakers out. So uh, let's look at these and, and see what uh, a speaker set on average would go for. Same model, Sanyo. Uh, speakers, there's not really much value in them. That's the only one I could find on, on eBay. Uh, and it's $12.99 with free shipping. And those things weigh pretty good. So you're looking really after shipping and eBay fees and stuff. You're only going to be bringing a couple of bucks out of those. Now, I did look at a couple of the 55 and 60 uh, up to the 72-inch uh, TVs that I have out there. I couldn't get to them reasonably quick to be able to make a video. But some of the LED strip sets in those, if they come out easier, uh, I've seen a, a couple coming around 70 bucks. Uh, obviously plus plus the power supply so let's talk a little bit about how to get in touch with people uh, that have give you access to getting these TVs and, and being able to part them out so let's look at that now okay we're to, to be able to find these stock uh, we looked on Craigslist and there's only really one place there that offers uh, palletized returns but you look on the trusty dusty Facebook and they're everywhere So, you know, contact these people. It's always better to, to go face to face and be able to talk to them and, and say, well, here's one that's that's got pallets or uh, broken TVs for $200 a pallet, but uh, good luck with that when you can get them for free. Uh, and contact these people. Like I say, it's better to go face to face so you know you'll be able to talk to them. And just ask them, what, what do you do with your broken returns? Stuff that's returned with no box. Uh, you know, as long as they haven't been, these obviously have been stored outside. I don't know if they took them outside to take the picture, but, uh, you know, if they've been stored outside, there's nothing you can do to be able to get, uh, uh, to be able to resell the parts. You just can't test them or anything. And you don't want to wind up selling something that you, that somebody can't use or, or whatever. So anyway, that's a good way to go about doing these televisions and making another avenue for you to, uh, make money, uh, scrapping. Anyway, thank you guys for watching again and happy scrapping.